Hey, so this short, short video is just to get you going on the simplifying rational expressions. And the only thing I'm going to do in this video is actually get you through one of the problems as far as the factoring goes. So you will be simplifying each expression. Remember when factoring, look for a GCF and then check for a difference of squares at the end, just in case. So in my first problem, when I see a GCF or when I look for a GCF, uh, I'm going to take a 2 out of all these. So this work right here is just for the numerator. So I'm going to go ahead and GCF that 2 out. And then from there, I'm going to make my x based on just what's in the parentheses. So I need factors of 2 that get me to 3. And those only factors are going to be 1 and 2. And I am putting the b's even though I'm not mentioning them. And now, joining the 2, I'm ready to put this up here. I'm going to put my factors. Here will be the 2 for the GCF. Here will be the parentheses. Uh, it is b if you happen to switch over to x because that's what we use. That's fine. And I'll drop those b's in. And then I'm just going to double check. Is b times b all I need to get to b squared? And it is. And then if you like to draw those loops, uh, I'll use those loops to figure out the side numbers. So b times what makes 1b, and that's 1. And then b times what makes 2b, and that would be a 2. So the numerator is factored. Now, as far as the denominator goes, and I look for a GCF, I don't see one. So I'll go straight to my x. This time, the numerator will be, or I'm sorry, the top part will be 12. And the denominator will be, or the bottom will be 7. And then the factors of 12 that get me to 7 will be 3 and 4. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to my parentheses. I'm going to drop those b's in. And then is b times b enough? It's not. I need 2b squared. And b times b is b squared. So I'm going to have to put a 2 with one of those. And now I'm going to make my loops to get these side numbers. Now b or 1b could get either of these, so I won't focus on that one first. I'll start with the 2b, and 2 can only get me 4. 2 can't get me 3, so 2 times what can make 4b, and that's a positive 2, and then b times what makes 3b, and that's a positive 3. So now that it's completely factored, I will look for the common factor between my numerator and a denominator, and that's going to be the b plus 2 and the b plus 2. This 2 will not be taken out by this 2 because then you're breaking up a term and you're not going to do that. If it's in parentheses, it all goes or none of it goes. So when we're done, our final answer, we have a 2 and a b plus 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we are left with a 2b plus 3. So problem 1 is done. So just pointing out some things, especially like on number 2, there is a GCF in your numerator and in your denominator. On number three, there is a GCF in the denominator. And on number four, there's a GCF in the denominator. So make sure you are taking out the GCF. And then when you're done, just double check, is there a difference of squares? Because right now, none of the problems start with two terms, so there won't be a difference of squares. Right now, that is.